Star family, welcome back to my channel. I can't believe we're doing this video. I'm a little scared. <laughs> so first, I am going to just clip back uh, my quote hair. I'm wearing a wig. I'm sure you guys can tell. I, this is only like my second or third time playing around with my new lace front wig. I'm trying to get better at making it look more natural. I'll get there. I just need some more practice. But anyways, we are first going to block out our brows. I do have a detailed tutorial, which I highly recommend you check out if you if you want to recreate this look or just block out your brows. Um, it's very detailed. So if you want to find that out, watch that tutorial. So once the brows are blocked, I'm just going to use um, some brown face paint and I'm going to start sketching out the design of the eyes. So um, a lot of the focus and detail is underneath our natural eyelids. So we're kind of extending it down. And I have a reference picture of a Bratz doll that I'm following and she has kind of like this cat eye shape. So I'm following that. So that's why the front looks a little cat eye-ish. And then winging it out towards the end to extend my eye and make it look wider as well. So now I'm going to create kind of like a half circle extending the bottom part of my pupil. This look I feel looks way more realistic when you have like giant circle lenses because it extends your own eye, like it makes your eyes look bigger. So if you were wearing those when creating this look, it would look a lot better in my opinion. But um, we're just gonna work with what we got. So I'm moving on to the top part of my eye, working in the lid area. And the Bratz doll that I'm copying, she didn't really have like a lot of color to her eyelid. eyelid. It was just kind of like a smoky eye. So I'm taking like a mix of a gray, like a blackish gray and blending that into my crease. I think it looks so crazy, but it, it'll all it'll all like come together. But it's looking a little crazy and rough right now, but just just keep going with it. So next I'm going to create the cut crease. So this is going to make our eyes look bigger, obviously. And I'm going way above my natural crease, as you can tell. And I'm gonna go over this with black later on. So now I'm taking my black gel liner um, you can use a black face paint, whatever you have, and I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes. And I did bring it towards the front since that's technically part of our eyes too, so we're lining that. And then I started drawing fake lashes, which were, oh my gosh, a hot mess. Like, I just, I've said this many, many times, but I do not know how to draw on fake lashes to save my life. I just, I cannot. So I started that, but we'll get back to that later. So now I'm working on under my eyes and I'm lining that as well. And also touching up the winged liner that we have on the top just so that it actually matches our fake eye shape a lot better. Now I'm taking a white and I'm filling in that area where it's the extended pupil of our eye. So I am filling that in with white and we're gonna go over it with a eyeshadow and the white is going to help the eyeshadow um, look a lot brighter and just stand out more. So the color I'm using is blue because the Bratz doll that I'm copying has blue eyes. So I'm taking a few different shades of a light baby blue color and just packing that right on top of the white. Now with the rest of the eye, I'm going to fill it in with that same white face paint color that I was using earlier and this is going to be the whites of our eyes. And once I have that done, I'm going to go in with my black to just outline it and sharpen up some of the details. And now going in with the black, I'm going to create the, oh wait, this is called the pupil. The black part of the eye is called the pupil. Um, the blue part, that was the iris. I mix those two up. But I'm drawing that on and then making two little white dots. And that is it for the details of the eye. And now I'm trying to figure out what I can do to make this look better. <laughs> because right now I feel like it's looking like a hot mess. And the more I went through this look, I feel like... I don't know, I had a lot of different emotions. I kind of almost want to try this look again because I feel like I could do better. This was my first time attempting this and I just feel like I could do better. I don't know, let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing, but um, now I'm taking a glitter shadow. This is from Stila and I decided to place this on the lid area of the eye just to give it a little bit of glam. Not that the Bratz doll had glitter on her look, but I think this is just going to help tie it in together. Plus, glitter tends to cover up any mistakes and just make things look better, even if it's not that good. So I'm hoping the glitter comes through for me today. So now I'm gonna go in with a dark brown and mix it in with a little bit of black. I'm gonna go ahead and focus on the cut crease that we created. So we're gonna deepen up this um, crease 
add some darkness to it so it looks like it has more depth. And then I'm gonna go in with my black liner again to really carve out that crease area and then just go back to soften it so it just looks a little more realistic. With my brown face paint, I'm gonna go ahead and fill out my eyebrows. This wasn't the shape that I originally wanted to go with. It was a little more arched than I had planned because I feel like the Brad Stalls have more like rounded out brows and I kind of arched mine a little too much, but it's okay, we're just gonna go with the flow. Now I'm taking the gray shadow that I added in the crease. I'm going to sweep that onto our pretend lower lash line right now just to kind of round out this look. Then I'm gonna draw on my fake lashes with an eyeliner. And again, I'm just terrible at drawing on the fake lashes. I feel like doing bottom ones are a little bit easier than fake lashes on the top part of the eye, the upper lash line. I feel like those are just, those are tricky. Originally, I wanted to put like real fake lashes on um, just to kind of cover up this mess we got with the fake drawn on lashes, but they weren't big enough for this look because our eyes are like super giant now and I didn't have lashes that fit. So I kind of just had to work with drawing on the fake lashes. And oh, this is where the look like definitely went downhill in my opinion, but it was the best that I could do. I, th I still feel like I should try again. I might be able to do better next time. I don't know. Zoe, are you growling at me? Are you growling at me? What? Okay, so I went off camera and did the other eye because it just took me forever to do that. So um, now I'm gonna finish off the face. I don't have to worry about the forehead too much because we covered a lot of that when we blocked out our brows. So I'm really just working on the lower half of my face. So I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way Multi, what is it called? Multi Sculpt Use Concealer. You know which concealer I'm talking about. It's one of my faves. I'm using that all over my face and just blending it out with the sponge and then making sure I set it with some powder to lock it all into place. I really love the Pop Beauty Contour 101 Face Palette. This is in Matte Effect. I really like this for sculpting out my face and doing like kind of intense contouring. So I'm taking this on a small fluffy brush and I'm using that to contour my nose. If you look at a Bratz doll, their nose is kind of non-existent. So I'm going to try and make my nose look as small and slender as possible, trying to basically erase my nose off my face. And then for blush, I'm taking the e.l.f. Modern Metals palette and I'm gonna take the darker, rosier colors in this palette and I'm going to heavily apply that onto my cheeks. And I'm kind of using my blush to not only add color to my face, but slightly contour because I'm not using bron bronzer to contour my face because Bratz dolls have very round face. So I don't want to do too much sculpting, but I did want to add some color. Then I'm going to take the highlight color in that palette and also highlight under our fake giant eyes and also the tip of my nose and Cupid's bow, all that good stuff. So I think the only thing left now is to do the lips. Look at this picture. This is my reference picture. Her lips are basically up to her nostrils. <laughs> like. Her lips are so gigantic, so I'm just taking a lip liner right now. I'm going with a deep, um, kind of like burgundy red shade, and I'm going to intensely, I mean intensely, overdraw my lips, keeping the focus in the center. So I wanna make them very tall, not so much like wide, you know what I mean? I'm making them very, very tall. So draw those lips up to your nostrils and then same with the bottom lip. It is so like pouty. So I'm basically drawing the lower lip down to my chin. And as you can see, I've slightly um, drawn the lips outwards, just like ever so slightly because if you look at the shape, they have their mouth kind of like curves up a little bit. So I wanted to add that little detail, but really the, the majority of this like plumpiness of their lips is just in the center. I'm going over it with a NYX suede liquid lipstick. And the shape I have right now is obviously big and exaggerated, but I feel like we needed to do even more. So I brought the lower lip down even further closer to my chin. And there we have it for our gigantic lips. And I felt like it was just so distracting that you can see my own natural lip shape like through this. 
So to me, it just didn't look as realistic. So I wanted to kind of distract the fact that you can see my natural lips by adding some like cartoon-ish highlights. So I'm taking a white face paint and just kind of going over the edges of the lips to highlight. Um, I didn't really have an exact plan here. I just, I, I just kind of went for it and started painting some white little stripes and marks on my lips to make it look like they were highlighted. And I felt like that was a good distraction from my own natural lip shape. And after a quick little outfit change to resemble my Bratz doll inspiration a little bit more, this is the completed look. I did play around a little bit more with the highlight parts of the lips, but just have at it if you are recreating this look. I doubt anyone is recreating this look, but just in case you are, um, that's my little tip for you. Just, just have at it with the white highlights. So this is the finished look. Uh, again, I feel like I, I kind of did it, but I think I could do better at the same time. So do you guys want to see me try this again or should I just end it like this? Like this is my Bratz doll challenge, the end, or should I make a part two? I don't know. You guys let me know. I will leave the decision in your hands. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this crazy look. And if you see any other fun makeup tags that you guys would like me to try out, make sure you tag me in them so I can see. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!